Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Makeup with Kay for Candy. My name is Candy. So today's makeup look is going to be on this look right here. It's a vacation look and that's the only time when we are relaxed and we want to look the best with a natural glowy face. So let's get started. So first I'm gonna take the small cute Prep and Prime setting spray by MAC so that my skin looks fresh and flawless. For moisturizer, I'm using the Nivea Soft. It gives a nice smooth skin and it feels extra light when you apply it on your face. So for the sunscreen, I'm using my dermatologist prescribed one. It is a Lynn Derma's Lynn Soft. As you know, it is a vacation look and you know, we don't want to get tanned. So sunblock is a compulsion. Like for me, it is an important step which I don't want to skip on. Uh, you just have to pat it on your skin. Uh, don't drop it. Make sure you keep it for two minutes and then further proceed with the next step. primer face i'm using the inside primer it is really affordable by the way this one is from nika so primer basically helps us with a smooth application of makeup and helps your skin with the breakouts for my eyebrow i'm using maybelline gel liner with a single drop of fursali oil it is like magic you must try this one i'm using an angled brush for the application by urban decay so here is the thing you should always start from the top of your face means eyes first so that if you have any fallouts we can wipe it away for brows you just have to outline your brows and then fill in the remaining area paint the night sky yeah, we'll drink any by the ocean. It's our favorite potion. Come on, baby, let me tell you one time that our days are never end. Yeah, no, our days are never end. Yeah, no. Come on, baby, let me tell you one time that our days are never end. Yeah, no, comes my favorite part of the makeup which is eyes we'll start with the base i'm taking krylon derma d4 camouflage which is a light tone it has a lot of oil so first take it at the back of your hand blend it and then further apply it the minimum application would work and yes the brush i'm using is from urban decay naked 3 Then I'm using a beauty blender so that the excess is out. I like setting my base with a powder. So I'm using translucent powder by MAC. The brush I'm using is from Maybelline New York. For eyeshadow, I'm using a Jaclyn Hills palette from which I'm using the warm brown orangish tone. I will be taking a fluffy brush from Anastasia Beverly Hill. I'm applying it on the crease of my eyes and will be blending it properly. Because it is a vacation look, I'm just using a single shade. You might go with two, three shades. I'm using a single shade this time, you know, on the crease. For the eyelids, I'm taking this metallic shade right here and I want to take this using my ring finger and apply on the eyelids. The best part about doing that is it gives, you know, zero fallouts and you get the exact shade you see in the palette. Further, I'm using a brush just to make sure the quantity is equally applied. I was thinking to skip lashes, but these lashes with the look would be phenomenal. So I'm using Mink 3D Lashes. I ordered these from Amazon. After applying glue on the lashes, make sure you twist it like this so that, you know, it gets into the perfect shape uh, so that, you know, it becomes easy when you apply it on your eye. For foundation, I'm using a wet and wild in the shade Golden Beige, which matches my neck perfectly. For the application, I'm using a soft damp beauty blender. You just have to dab it 
no more rubbing is required. Make sure you always take a less amount because Beauty Blender packs your makeup. The more foundation you take, more cakey it might look. For concealer, I'm again using the Wet n Wild in the shade Medium Tawny. I'm taking a similar tone to my skin as I want my skin to look natural. So this time I'm skipping all those bright under eye sort of thing. I'm you know looking for something which looks natural. I'm gonna take my translucent powder by MAC. I will be using it with my MAC 116 brush. I'm using it only on my under eye area and I'm skipping all other areas because it is a vacation look and the more packing of you know products I'm gonna do, it is not going to sustain you know when I go out. So I am trying to keep it minimalistic you know in terms of you know I don't want to keep layering my products and that is something which I've never liked. For black coal, I'm using a Maybelline New York gel liner. I'm applying it as a regular coal. And then later, I'll be blending it with an Anastasia brush. Then I will again be taking the brown orangish warm shade which I used for my crease and I will apply on my lower lash under my coal so it gives a good contrast to my eyes. For mascara I am using Hypercal Volume Express by Maybelline New York. And I'm applying a little bit on my brows. For inner corners, I'll be taking a light pinkish tone and will be applying it with the Urban Decay Naked Sweet Brush. For brow highlights, I'm picking up this white pearl shade from the palette and will be applying with the same brush. For bronzer, I'm using the Oriframe Giordani Cold Bronzer Pearls. I'm applying this using my Real Technique brush. Make sure you make a pout while you're applying the bronzer so that you get the exact area of application and the perfect lines. For blush, I'm using PG Sweetie from Maybelline New York. It gives that natural pinkish tone. I will be using a brush from Maybelline New York. Make sure you smile so that your cheekbones are visible while applying the blush. A little bit on the top of the nose so that you get the natural feel. For highlighter, I'm using Huda Beauty's 3D highlighting palette. For application, I'm taking a flat brush by Real Technique. I'm using the shade PZ from the palette. So basically, I like highlighting my forehead, bridge of the nose.
upper and lower lip. Though I'm applying on my cheekbone also, but at times I like to skip that. We'll be contouring my nose now, for which I'm taking the pearl from Oriflame Bronzer and will directly apply a single pearl on my nose. To set it properly, I'm using a beauty blender. For lipstick, I'm using the Kiko Milano Unlimited Double Touch 109 Strawberry Red. I like to use it with a pointed brush, so I'm taking a brush by Urban Decay Naked Tree. Firstly, I like to outline the lips and then further fill the entire area. So as you can see, this lipstick comes with a gloss, so I'm applying gloss on the top of my lip color. No matter what occasion it is, I like setting my makeup with my favorite MAC setting spray so that I have a long lasting makeup. Get off your seat, clap your hands to the beat, grab your champagne glass tonight. We toast the freedom in the Caribbean. Yeah. I'm finishing my look with these beautiful pearl of earrings. Smoke, 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 fire it up, let our lanterns paint the night sky red. And some highlighter on my collarbones. And that's pretty much it. This is my final makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give a thumbs up and do subscribe for future videos.